good sign. It was wind predicted, but 3 a.m. is awfully early to start with wind. Now they're predicting 10 to 15 straight out of the east. Of course, east is exactly where I'm going. So, I'm supposed to go to Graydon Beach. Hop out of the open ocean at Destin, and then uh, go up to Graydon Beach. Meet a guy, he wants to take me out for a steak dinner, and possibly meet up and stand up paddle with me today. Well, stand up paddling's out, it's way too windy unless you're going with the wind, even then. So I decided to stay inside, meaning on the intracoastal waterway. So, everybody's image at the ICW is a nice canal, wide water. That's what it's all about. It's about an alternative to the open coast. Small boats can get through in rough days. Well, around here the ICW is composed of lakes, salt lakes, salt water lakes, linked together by canals, stretched out rivers. I'm on one of those lakes now, running point to point looking for whatever shelter from the wind I can get. The lake itself is over 25 miles long, aligned, of course, east and west. So the wind has 25 miles of fetch, meaning open water to blow across. So out in the middle, there's three foot waves, wind chop waves, the worst kind. Disorganized, real short period. Where I am, behind a point, it's about four miles ahead. It gives me some shelter, so I've got four miles of fish. One to two foot wind waves, lots of slop and chop. It's a tough go. The problem is when you eliminate the waves, you still got wind. That's what I deal with today. My cruising speed is normally four and a half miles per hour. Four hours average out. Today, clock on the GPS. I'm lucky if I hit three and a half. That's averaging out to three. Of course, my brakes are far from restful. I haven't been able to fuel up or water up as much as normal. So at that pace, I've been looking at a 10 to 11 hour day to get to where I want to be. It should normally take about eight. So, normal day, cold water, I can crank out 10 or 11 hours, sure. Day like today, day like today, it's not going to happen. So what I'm doing now is I'm going looking for a place to pull off for the day. At least seven and a half hours, probably close to 20 miles in this crap, so I finally get to land. That's enough. This isn't exactly harrowing high seas, but it's a lot of work. Mildly pointless. This early in the game, it's not like it's a race. Of course, tomorrow, they're predicting thunderstorms thrown in on top of the same kind of wind. So, I gotta find a place today where I can stay for two days, because they're not moving anywhere tomorrow if it's gonna be like this. Monday, I'm supposed to finally pan out and still be windy, but I'm on the ICW. It does narrow up into just a canal, but, 18 miles from here. So that's where I'll be paddling Monday, all the way down to Panama City. And then finally back out on the open coast Tuesday. More rain Wednesday. It just keeps lining up. I can certainly do it without this east wind. So that's the joys of a rough water day.